All right then, so we've seen how we can create all of these different shapes using the base skeleton element component right here. Now we're gonna use these different shapes to create a skeleton article to represent these things that are being loaded. So let's create a new component inside skeletons and we'll call this skeleton article.js. And inside here, I need to import React first of all, like so. And then we want to create a functional component called skeleton article. Set that equal to a function. And then inside here, we just want to return a JSX template. Now, all we're going to do is create a div with a class name. Oops, we need to do this correctly. Div class name and set that equal to skeleton hyphen wrapper now the reason i'm doing this is just so we can give this some basic styles uh, later on in the css and also we'll use this for a bit of a shimmer or sheen later as well so let's create that div and then i want to create another div with a class name equal to skeleton article that's just so we can apply some styles later as well if we need to and then inside here all we really need to do is a series of different skeleton elements right so what is an article going to have well if we take a look it just has a title and a few lines of text so we could do one skeleton element which is of type title and then three underneath that which is of type text right so i'm going to do that skeleton element it auto imports it at the top and the type of this one is going to be title and then oops I need to close that off like so then let me duplicate this and change this to text and add a couple more of those as well so pretty much that's all there is to it I do need to export this at the bottom export default skeleton article like so and also I want to apply some styles to this as well in a second but before we do that let's just try using this skeleton article so let's go back to articles over here I'm going to delete all of these because we don't need those anymore and we can delete that import at the top as well and I want to output these right here instead of this loading text now I want to output not just one of them but several of them but how many am I going to output because I don't know how many posts there are well we could just say output five of them but how do we do that well we could just create an array like this and there's various different ways of doing this I'm just going to say one two three four five right so an array of five elements and each one is different so we can use it as a key when we're outputting each item so I'm going to map through that array Right, much like we mapped through the articles here, we're going to do a similar thing and I'm going to refer to each item in that array as N for number. And then for each item, I'm going to output a skeleton article. So skeleton article like so. And we need to say that the key is equal to N, which is unique. Right. So remember, we don't have to pass any other props into this component. We don't say the type. The type is passed in right here where we're making that skeleton article so if i save this now hopefully while it loads we should see five skeleton articles it might not look great yet because we've not created the styles but it should look okay so let me save that and preview and there we go we can see five of them cool so when it loads they should disappear and we see the articles now we just need to address the styles a little bit because it didn't look great they all look too bunched up together and there was no space between them. So what I'm going to do is just apply some styles to the skeleton wrapper. If we take a look inside the skeleton article, we have this thing right here, skeleton wrapper. And I'm just going to apply some spacing to that. And then what I'll do is whenever I create a new kind of skeleton layout, whether it be an article or a profile or something else, I'll surround it with the skeleton wrapper class so that it gets a bit of spacing, right? So let's do that down here. I'm going to say skeleton hyphen wrapper like so. And then I just want to give this a margin of 20 pixels, top and bottom, auto left and right. And then also some padding as well. So padding is going to be 10 pixels and 15 pixels as well. Save that. And if we come over here and refresh, 
that looks a little bit better there is some space in there now this is not going to be the final style we are going to add themes to these so they can be light or dark some different background colors and also animation effects later on but i think to begin with that's enough so that in the next lesson we can move on and we can create the skeleton profile as well and then we'll add some different styling to both of them